So right now I'm just going to show you all the software that's needed for Sega Genesis game development. And the first thing you need, first and foremost, is BASE EGA XORZ. We're going to call it BEX. It's a basic compiler that compiles for the 32X, the Genesis, and the Sega CD. It's um, it's really good. This is what I was, it's what I was showing you in the previous video. It's all that's really needed to to program the Sega Genesis. But it, unless you intend to do just text-based games, it is highly recommended that you get some of the other programs. Now, the next thing you're going to need is Kega Fusion, which is an emulator for the Sega Genesis that we're, we're going to use to test out our games on the computer before we actually put them on hardware. This is good so we don't have to keep transferring back and forth between computer and hardware, computer and hardware. Now the next thing that we're going to need is not Imagenesis, even though that's also needed. We're going to need a thing called Sega Genesis Tile Designer. Genesis Tile Designer. Now we can find that here and you use it to make graphics and tiles for Sega Genesis and this is really it's a really good tool and I'll, I'll be showing you how to use it in a future video so now that we got basic um, tile designer and another thing that I'll go over at the end so we're going to need Game Boy Map Builder the only reason why we're going to need a, a program for Game Boy this is optional but it's really good for making maps like like the screens and the backgrounds of um, your Genesis games and they and they are usable on the Sega Genesis with certain um with certain tweaking I mean, it's not really hacking all you have to really do like this is the program right here you just have to change some of the settings like when you're actually making when you actually want to compile it for the Genesis you just have to um, have these settings selected but I'll go over them a bit more later so we're going to need map builder, tile designer, which is completely optional, but it helps when you're using the map builder. It's just another tile editor like um, SGT. Uh, it's just another tile editor that allows you to make graphics, and these graphics are going to be usable in map builder. Now, this is what the tile editor looks like right here. I think I showed you it last time, but generally you could just um, make the graphics, and it's it's the same. It's it's a process. Now the last one, actually no, that's really all of it. There is some music program, but I'll go over that after I teach you guys how to do general graphics and um, physics and collision detection. So that was a bit a quick rundown of the software. I'll post links in the description. You generally want to keep all these programs in the same place so you can refer back to them and that's that see you in the next video